Good morning children. Welcome to the Narayana Live Classes. Today we are going to discuss Assignment 20 of our environment. The topic is the effects of human activities on ecosystem. Okay. This assignment consists of three types of questions. Objective type, very short answer type and short answer type. Okay. Now let us see different types of questions and their answers. The first question is identify the group of plants growing in Kolleru Lake. Okay. Yes. A group and B group. A group Icoria pistia. B group Hydrilla valisneria. Okay. Actually Icoria pistia is the correct group. That means they are growing in Kolleru Lake and they are uh, uh, making the Kolleru Lake uh, uncomfortable for growth of the Water animals. Okay, right. Now, read the sentence and correct the underlined word. So, being a profitable business, apiculture in Kolleru was started extensively in the 1980s. Actually, not apiculture, that side near the Kolleru or around the uh, surroundings of Kolleru, not apiculture, aquaculture. Aquaculture was grown. Okay, aquaculture. Fish culture. Aqua culture means fishy culture. Fish culture. Okay, right. Write the abbreviation of DO. DO for dissolved oxygen. DO for dissolved oxygen. Okay, now fourth question. I am a twisty channel which discharges excess water from Kolleri Lake to Bay of Bengal, who am I? So, channel, a small channel, okay, it is uh, about 65 kilometers from Kolleri to Bay of Bengal. So, what is its name? Its name is Upudel, okay, what is that? Upudel, it carry excess water from Kolleri to Bay of Bengal. Now, let us see very short answer questions. When did Kolleri Lake declared as Bird Sanctuary? Kolleri Lake attracts number of nearly 20 lakh, uh, uh, 20 lakh birds every year. It attracts from different countries. That's why the Kolleri Lake was announced as Bird Sanctuary. Okay. In November, in November 1999. Okay. When did Kolleri Lake announced as Bird Sanctuary? In November 1999, our government, that means AP government, AP government declared it as Bird Sanctuary. Which factors resulted in flooding of Kolleri Lake? Which factors? You know, decrease in uh, water area, area of water and muddy ground. Okay, decrease. Decrease of decrease of water area and muddy ground. Muddy ground. These two resulted in these two resulted in flooding of Kolleri Lake. Okay. Right. What is the catchment area of Kolleri Lake? Kolleri Lake area is about extended about 6,121 square kilometers. Okay? How much area? 6,121 square kilometers of area we can see Kolleri Lake. Write the full form of BOD. BOD stands for Biochemical Bio B for Biochemical O for Biochemical Oxygen O for Oxygen D for Demand Biochemical Oxygen Demand Okay? Right. Now let us see short answer questions. Define the words Bioaccumulation and Biomagnification. Let us see what is Bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation means the entry of pollutants into the food chain. Entry of pollutants into the food chain is called bioaccumulation. Suppose from the industries, chemical wastes are releasing into the water. So that means what? 
chemicals, those are waste, these are those are poisons, toxic materials. They are entering into the water. So in the water, you know, there are many aquatic organisms. They all uses that water. Whatever the contents present in the water, they take in. That's why entry of pollutants into the food chain is called bioaccumulation. Entry of pollutants into the food chain. Into the food chain. It is called bioaccumulation. Then what is biomagnification? The tendency of pollutants to concentrate the tendency of pollutants to concentrate when they are passing from one level to another level is called biomagnification. Okay, second one is the tendency of pollutants, the tendency of pollutants to concentrate to concentrate when they pass from or when they move from one trophic level to one trophic level to another one trophic level to another okay that means concentration concentration of pollutants in an organisms when they are passing. Suppose, uh, I, I, now only I said, chemical waste are released into the water. They are utilized by phytoplankton. They enter into first phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are eaten by zooplankton. Zooplankton are eaten by fish. Fish is eaten by man. That means the chemicals that are entering into the water, one by one, level by level, they are entering into the man. Finally, they are accumulating in the man's body, top carnivore. Okay, right. Now, tenth one. What are the major sources of pollution in colliery lake? How the colliery lake gets pollution? How it became polluted? Let us see. There are different reasons. Okay. Agro, agrochemicals. Agricultural residues like agrochemicals and fertilizers. Agricultural residues. Agricultural residues like what are those agrochemicals, agrochemicals and fertilizers. So these are released into the colliery water. Okay, and also fish tank discharges. So around the colliery, there are number of fish tanks. Those all waste. Fish tank discharges are released into colliery. Discharges. Uh, next, chemical waste from industries. So, when the colliery lake is uh, um, an option for growing number of uh, uh, fish tanks and also industries, then automatically chemical waste, chemical waste released from industry. Chemical waste from industries also released into this uh, uh, colliery lake. Next, uh, municipal and domestic waste. Waste. Municipal. Sorry. Municipal and domestic waste. Domestic. From houses. Municipal waste. Drainage. Drainage water and domestic water. That all released into the colliery Domestic waste. Finally, uh, more addition, that means uh, extra addition of nutrients, especially anthropogenic sources. That means whichever the animal dead, the dead animals are throwing into the colliery lake. So, in, in such a way, the colliery lake receiving pollutants. Okay? Anthropogenic sources. Anthropogenic. Anthropogenic resources, anthropogenic sources releasing, releasing uh, rich nutrients, rich nutrients. So when the rich nutrients are available in colliery, 
the waste plants like uh, uh, icornia, pistia, such kind of plants will grow there. So then again, it is the problem for the aquatic organisms. Okay, this is the key of today's assignment, my dear children. Thank you.